your character because it's like a series of you playing off of a, like a bunch of dumb boys. It's just I know. one after another. <laughs> we were just saying that. It's almost <laughs> like you've got one not so bright guy after the next. He's obviously the smartest person in the room. But, you know, the beauty of her character is that once she really gets with the bad guys mm -hmm. that aren't that bright, she gets to kind of really play it, play it up, play it up, and 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 show her colors and find her strength. Yeah. Because what else does she have to lose? <laughs> exactly. Uh, that has to do with Tim Robbins. Yes. Uh, character who is, um, I I say sleazeball. Like, what's your default? Uh, yeah, he's a sleazeball. He's a jerk. Yeah. And uh, he's I a big I, bully. I assume he's a big bully and a jerk off. Yeah, off he's a big camera too. Oh yeah, you can't get more of a jerk off than that, those big teddy bear eyes and teddy bear hugs and sweetest person. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna pass that on. Yeah. Um, this is also a pretty. This is dark. I mean, it's a dark comedy. Um, we've seen you in strictly comedies, romantic comedies, but I, I love your roles when you get kind of sleazy yourself or you mm -hmm. get you get down. Yeah. Um, and we'll see that. We saw that in Horrible Bosses. We're going to see that again, yeah. I assume, in Horrible Bosses too. Horrible Bosses too. Are, you, and are then... you super? Are you starting to get more attracted to those kind of roles? Are you starting like? Well, I mean, I've done them up? in the. I mean, there was the Good Girl years ago. There was, you know, Friends with Money, and there have been the little independent films that I are actually have been my favorite to 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 be in because they are. You can stretch and not. You don't have to sort of perform for the masses. You get to to sort of access. Part of yourself and and that labor that wonderful you know thing that independent film provides, which is such a wonderful sense of feeling like you're creatively involved mm -hmm. in something, and and not to say that the others I'm not. I love comedy. I love playing off, making people laugh has been medicine for me f since I can remember. So I love it. I just also there's other stuff that I'm interested in, and you know I'm getting more and more excited about exploring myself as as the actor that I want to be and, and the independents are have more I have more ability to do that yeah and also being a part of as a producer even more in terms of uh, being able to put put the pieces of the puzzle together which is so much fun and I was about to say uh, you know in in your producer through, through those eyes, are you seeing more and more interesting roles for women in Hollywood? Last night we saw the Emmys and Juliana Margulies was like, all the interesting roles for women are in TV. Would you agree and would you Oh, there are, I think there are. I think that's absolutely true. But I also think it's true for women in film. I mean, I, I, I think it's, it's, been, it's made a turn, mm -hmm. I believe. I yeah. hope. Yeah. And is there one, is there a kind of women's role in particular that you've seen lately where you're just like slow clapping? You you really enjoy seeing that on screen. Oh my God, well that's hard, there's so many. <laughs> I mean, Kate Blanchett was incredible last year. Uh, one of my all-time favorites, Marion Cotillard in, in um, uh, what? Edith. Edith Piaf, exactly. Uh, I mean, Sandy Bullock. I mean, there's so Enjoy many women it, yeah. that are just amazing, and Meryl Streep and Julia and in Osage, that gorgeous. I mean, there's so many beautiful stories being told. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.